Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And here we are the morning after. Well, it looks like it's a beautiful day, right? Well, don't let that fool you. The uh, rains started about 3 a.m. and they were heavy. I mean, really heavy. It was so loud inside the cabin, even though it's as well insulated as it is, it, it just really loud inside the cabin. It, it's like, oh my God, it is pouring out there. And I'll take you over to show you the rain gauge in a little while to show you what came through in that first wave. But it only lasted about an hour from about uh, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. and then it, it died off. And then uh, I got up and I made coffee about 6.30 and I was sitting there about 7 a.m. and I heard the rain start again, looked outside and sure enough it was raining again. But that was only a brief one, maybe about 20 minutes long. Um, according to the radar, the heaviest rain that we're going to see out of this whole thing is going to be about 3 p.m. this afternoon. And uh, before that, we're supposed to have a few more brief showers coming through. One of them starting in about an hour, an hour and a half from now. And uh, it's probably those clouds that are right over on the ridge there that are headed this way. But um, around here, it's just blue skies and sunshine. I feel like I should be singing, I love a rainy night, such a beautiful sight. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I know, stick to my day job, right? So um, that's what happened last night. I mean, it was really, really coming down. And I captured some water. Let's head over here. I'll show you the totes. And they, right there. It's uh, Each one of those now has about uh, 350 liters in them. It has about 700 liters. Uh, I, I, get, I could do the con conversion on that for gallons, but uh, my mind's not into it right now. I'm going to have to use Google to figure it out if I wanted to, but let's uh, skip past that. It didn't get up high enough for it to run in my overflow hose into my other tote, but that may change this afternoon. I have a feeling that those things are going to be at least half full by the time this afternoon goes through, and if not more. This barrel is totally full. I mean, it's running over the top here. It's overflowing. Uh, this one is totally full, but it wasn't fully empty either. Um, my little buckets here have had gotten blown over because we had some gusts of wind last night. There's uh, Tomcat's uh, favorite little litter box for the nighttime when he's out roaming. He comes over here and uses this as his litter box. He does not poop inside of his condo anymore. He only pees in the uh, litter box in there. He goes outside to poop every time. So he's uh, he's taking care of his condo. He's uh, telling me that uh, I don't have to work so hard cleaning his place up. But anyway, in these buckets, I picked up about an inch of water. Uh, this one had blown over and out from underneath the drip edge right here. So I didn't get as much water in there. And those were blown over by my uh, gray water pit. And these were gone completely. These were over in the driveway. So a good gust of wind did come through here. I heard that. And I heard the uh, turbines start up. Because up until about 9 miles per hour, it makes a roaring sound. Roar, 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 roar. <laughs> and you know that the winds are starting to pick up. As soon as that dies... It's at 10 miles per hour. The uh, greenhouse stood through it, no problem. Um, had a few drips inside, but it, then again, it's not designed to be totally waterproof. Now, I was asked about putting gutters on the, uh, the greenhouse. And we'll head down here. I'll show you that these actually come with a gutter system on them. It's built right into them. The top rail of the walls on both sides is a channel it's a gutter so the water will come through there but it needs something to put on the ends here they have these little plastic caps that go in there what's that going to do it's just going to cause the, uh, the the channel to flood and then run over the edge so i want to i got to make a, a special little plug for the end of end of these i'll uh, trace it out on a, a 
piece of plastic or something and I'll silicone it in place and I'll have a little tube that comes off of there and then I'm going to have um, four totes right here that are going to be raised up probably as high as those are over there and uh, those will actually help protect this wall from uh, wind damages and things like that. I'll have to move my rocks. I've been collecting rocks because I want to build an outdoor pizza oven. But uh, the uh, um, totes will go back here, raised up a little ways. And I'm going to probably on this one, I'm going to do it with uh, storage underneath. So I can uh, put some things in there out and get them out of the wind and rain. And then also, I'm going to have them right up against the walls of this. So it, it gives this a little bit more rigidity for um, holding up in the uh, winds and that stuff. And this is the north side, so it it's not going to block any sunlight. Uh, that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, everything held up nice over here. Um, critters have been trying to tunnel underneath, and they come upon the wire, and they go, oops, can't go any further. So that's cool. These strips are supposed to go on these uh, boards here to help hold the uh, wire in place so that critters can't sneak in between here. But uh, it's kind of tight, so I'm not worried too much about it right now. I'll uh, I'll get to that some someday down the line. And I've got to put them up there on the uh, rafters also to hold that down. Now that lift right there is a concern for birds getting in because they will try to go underneath that and then they'll get inside of this and I'll have a problem. So I will be getting uh, to work on this sooner than I really wanted to. Everything inside is happy. They got some nice rainwater and uh, that made them real happy. And we're gonna have some uh, days with temps getting down into, or nights with temps coming, coming down to 26 and 27. So I'll be protecting the grapevines on those nights to make sure that they don't get damaged from the freezing cold. All right, chickens uh, survived through it all. The chicken door worked just fine. Waited for sun up this morning at around uh, uh, 7 a.m. It was even though it was raining, there was enough ambient light in the sky to open the chicken door and the, the chickens ventured out and they got caught outside in the rain and I went over to look at them and they, they were all wet. Their feathers were all wet down. But uh, they were okay. They had plenty of food and uh, and water and stuff like that for the day. Same thing with Tomcat. I made sure that they were all taken care of before I went to bed last night. So anyway, <clears throat> the snow. There's still a little residual left on the hills there. The mountains up there were covered white this morning, but uh, it's warmed up to around 43 degrees now, so a lot of it's melting. The mountains down over that way, you can't see them because they're under the clouds right now, but uh, those mountains are white all the way down to the horizon. I mean, uh, hey, Rita, there's your old stomping grounds covered in snow. I'll bet you missed that. Anyway, <clears throat> even the mountains all the way over there in the background, they're all covered in snow, and the mountains that way, they're all covered in snow. So <clears throat> we're going to see some more of that coming through here. In the meantime, I wanted to update you on what was going on here. And uh, there'll probably be another video later on when the uh, torrential rains come. I'll uh, see if I can't get a picture of that if I am brave enough to venture out with my umbrella. I'll do it that way. If not, I'll do it from inside the windows there in, in the cabin. And uh, <clears throat> there's actually... A flood watch for this area um, I saw that come through on my phone so we'll see what happens with that uh, the radar shows the um, <clears throat> the clouds that are going to be coming over at around 3 p.m. today are all red orange and yellow and that means uh, thunderstorms uh, lightning and lots of rain lots of heavy rain so I might get my totes filled up here. Um, I had to switch that barrel over to that barrel on the uh, drip system. And it catches it off the roof because that white barrel is, uh, right now, it's better than three quarters full. 
So I got plenty of water coming through here. That's going to be really nice. And uh, if I can get every tote I have um, filled with water, every barrel I have filled with water through these rain storms, then uh, I can go well into uh, late spring with irrigation water without a problem because I don't have to water the garden when it rains. So the, all the water that I capture is actually saved water and uh, double saved water because I don't have to use any and I've got more going into my uh, totes and storage. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down there. Don't forget to share these with your friends too. Uh, let's get the uh, subscribership up here. Uh, it's been going up slowly. Um, yeah, two to five people a day are, are signing on, but uh, we can do better than that, can't we? Let's get up to that 5,000 mark, and I'm also going to start giving away some pretty neat stuff. This is G-Bear thanking you for joining me and signing off.